Bitcoin and crypto markets see huge downtrend in the last week and particularly over the last 24 hours. We're going to look into that and try and unpack it step by step. Good morning, everybody. Let's have a quick look at the markets and just try and figure out what's going on and why the markets are looking like they are. If we go on to altcoin trader, we can see we've got Bitcoin down to 155,000 Rand per coin. And little over 24 hours ago, we were at 171,000 odd dollars uh, Rand per coin. So now there's been quite a lot of news these days in crypto. There's always a lot of news every day, but there's been no significant news in my opinion that I've been able to find that has caused a massive downtrend like that. So if we go over to um, coin market cap and we start looking at what's happening, it is a sea of red. Everything is down. I mean, Bitcoin is down almost 7% followed by Ethereum, which is down 13.3%. Um, uh, Ripple's down, everything's down. Litecoin is down 13% and Bitcoin Cash down 17%. Now, what would cause the market to dip like that? And is there anything that we need to worry about? Um, is it cause for concerns? Okay, well, over the last sort of two months, we've seen a dramatic rise in the price of cryptos and Bitcoin specifically. So it is, of course, time for a correction <clears throat> and none of the fundamentals have changed, which means that the reasons Bitcoin was going up, the reasons Bitcoin is going down have not changed. There is nothing, in my opinion, that we should really be concerned about. So what should you do? Is it time to buy? Is it time to sell? How do we handle a dip like that? Well, <clears throat> obviously, if you haven't sold already, you are in a catch 22 because if you sell now and it goes up, you're going to make substantial losses. If you sell now and it continues to fall, obviously you can make some gains, but it is too much of a gamble. My opinion, and this is not financial advice. The reason you know I'm not a financial advisor is because I'm not trying to sell you some type of insurance policy. Okay, the jokes aside. Um, in my opinion, it is too risky to make a move right now. If you find yourselves in the market, no one has a crystal ball. We don't know if it's going up from here, if it's going down from here. I personally stick to my strategy of rand cost averaging, hoping that this downtrend will hold at least till the 25th or you know the 28th, whenever everyone gets paid, so that we can all pick up some crypto at a good price. That being said, let's go and look at some of the market indicators. So on tradingview.com, we can look at the graph where they give a, an idea of whether you should buy or sell. And according to TradingView's technicals, they are suggesting a sell at this stage. I don't know if I'm 100% in agreement with that because I know this market can turn very quickly and I don't want to be caught off guard. Now, another indicator that a lot of people are looking at at this stage is the fear and greed indicator. As we can see, people are very fearful in crypto at this time. This site takes um, a lot of data. They take social media input, they take volume, they take trends in the marketplace, and they try and work that out and just get it to a sort of uh, an idea of where what the market sentiment is. As you can see now, 13, extreme fear. So, you know, the old saying, it's buy, uh, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. So if you go with those old sayings, then clearly now it is a time to buy. However, I personally, I just hold my position in times like this because I know that a move either way can be detrimental. Well, that's it from me. I hope I've given some type of clarity on what is happening. Guys, remember the fundamentals are all in place. Nothing has changed. Crypto, in my opinion, is still a very, very solid investment. That's it from me.